welcome back to the Flagon Slayers. Oh, yeah. um, we've got for the next, well, today and next weekend as well, we've got a couple of one shots coming. And uh, I'll be your host for those evenings. So um, we've it. got some new, new characters here. Um, and I'll just have them kind of introduce themselves and their, um, I guess, descriptions. And we'll start with Jacob. Okay, so my name is Sheldon. And I am a tortle monk. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> What kind of oh, oh, my shell is a nice, like, moss green. <laughs> I take pride in my shell. <laughs> Amazing. That's it. Love that. Are you young, old? Oh, I'm like <laughs> 45, so I'm almost yeah. dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Brady, you want to go next? All right, I will be playing Orgog with the hard G's. He's a rogue assassin orc. Uh, he's six six, two fifty something, and he's a big guy, but surprisingly sneaky. He's a uh, very quick. He's got a bit of a gambling problem, and he likes to hang out in taverns. But uh, if you pay him, he's he'll do just about anything. He's for hire. Who doesn't? Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Abby. Um, I'm playing Fern Settlefen, a gnome wizard. Um, the school is illusion. That's about it. She's got like curly green braids. She's like real small. That's it. Okay, and Zach. She's young, probably like 25. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Uh, I am playing Morkai. He is a half orc rogue. Yeah. I like, right. I like, I like getting myself into some trouble every once in a while. But. <laughs> Straighten this up. Alright, so we'll start this, uh, kind of jumpstart this a little bit. So, uh, you guys all have your different reasons for adventuring, but uh, for this particular quest, um, you all knew that you could not you you could not fulfill this one alone, but it was worth uh, worth trying to do anyway. So, the you've got you've come to the Emerald Outpost. Um, which is kind of in between human and elven land. Um, and I guess I should mention, this is about 500 years before our current campaign with Thea and Zygon and, and all of them. So this is pretty far in the past. Um, but it, so there, there was... Uh, and anyway, so you guys have made, made it to the Emerald Outpost because you've heard about... Uh, there's been a lot of issues lately between... Um, getting from Iman into Elven land and going east through there. And so um, they've gotten to the point where they've had to send uh, patrols even through the, um, the, the trails, the roads in between the two, uh, just to try and secure them. Because the city of Onoa, which is a little bit south, uh, southwest of... Uh, it's south of Amon, southwest of the Emerald Outpost, has become kind of a safe haven for uh, just some some bad people. We'll just keep it at that. And uh, they have been kind of they they've been growing to the point where they have been kind of going out to the roads instead of just sticking into their their little uh, zone. They've been harassing people on the road, so the Emerald Outpost is the nearest to them. So they are trying to protect the people going between the cities. Um, the Emerald Outpost is basically a uh, a trading hub at this point, which uh, has mostly uh, elven population, but there has been some humans and halflings kind of migrating there as well. Um, so they're they're trying to open up a little bit more, but. Um, so anyway, you've heard about these problems, 
and are they are seeking help and you guys want the the wealth the recognition whatever your personal values may be um so you have sought this place out looking for their help um you all have found uh the the place is run by two separate people um it's a there's a human and an elf that both work together or they're supposed to work together uh to govern the place but it's uh, since it's mostly elven there seems to be some more pull in that direction and it's gotten to the point where now the human is basically in charge of some of the political stuff and the elf has become a more militaristic leader and they're at the point of kind of separating in that way they're technically both governors so the human is uh, the person who has been seeking help uh, because the elf is just kind of doing his own thing, just trying to keep the city safe. And anyway, so that's where we'll pick it up is you guys are going to find the governor in charge. So um, you enter the city and right there at the entrance, there's a great big oak tree. Um, and in front of that tree, you see a human and an elf in front of it. They're, uh, they're stone statues, and they're shaking hands. And you can see that there is a, um, uh, like a tablet there at the bottom that says that it's Governor Sturth and Theodwill. Always nice to see the races coming together. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. If you say so. <laughs> so, right. uh, I assume all of you are here for the same reason? Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wherever the money leads. I love just getting started. <laughs> yeah. It's always a little little awkward. Sorry, right, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> so... Are we like in the the center of the town, or do we do we already know where we're supposed to go, or like? Well, so I mean, you already know who the people are in charge. It's not it's not like secretive knowledge or anything like that, and that's why I kind of gave you that intro so you know because your characters would know in the first place who to go to. So you're looking for Governor Sturth, excuse me, who is the human. Uh, that's helping run the place. Is it Stern? Sturth. Sturth. Okay. Sturth. Stur Stur Sturth. Yes. Okay. Sturth Eldabun. Um. So. Are there any, uh, like, guards or anything around? Yeah, there's guards at the just at the entrance you just went through. Okay, I wanna I wanna hobble up to him with my cane. Um, okay. That's in the shape of like a question mark. Uh, excuse me, young man. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a, uh, Strath? Sturth? Sturth? Uh, yeah, it's Governor Sturth. Yeah, he's, uh, he's up the road, straight that way. Uh, you can't miss it. Hot dog. And he just, he just points you straight up north. I start walking that way. It, I don't even yeah. care about those three. Okay. It, it's not a particularly big place. It's like I said. It's a it's a trading outpost. It's be, it's been growing, but it's not huge. Are the rest of you just gonna follow? Yeah, uh, follow Sheldon. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on, youngins. We got a job to do. <laughs> Old monk. Okay. Old turtle monk. Sorry. Okay, so uh, you guys start heading north for 10-15 um, minutes and you start seeing kind of, it's straight north and then where the road tees you can see off to the right a little bit, there's another side road and there's kind of a larger manor there and you see a, a gate around it and a couple of guards standing there so you can pretty safely assume that that's the uh, place of government there. Like the governor's manor, if you will. Um, so you guys just gonna approach the the guards there? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, 
So as you guys as you guys get closer, um, they're they're standing there watching you approach. The gate is closed at this point, um, but you guys approach and they say, "Hey, what can what can I help you with?" I look at uh, Sheldon. I, sh I look at him. To see a governor Sturth or Starth or Sturth Sturth. Yes, yeah, Governor Sturth is inside. Uh, do you have an appointment? No. As far as what I do know, you need? I don't know. Uh, we heard there were some problems going on, and we thought we could fix them. Oh, you must be some new adventurers coming to help. All right, I well, am just a simple monk. <laughs> we'll send you inside <laughs> since this is an important matter, and so he goes ahead and. Opens the gate for you and sends you guys him a right on through for his troubles. Huh. Thank you, young man. It's always nice to find nice young men. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I just slowly shuffle in, <laughs> Yoda esque walking. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, at this point, since you guys have gone through the city, they've kind of been given weird looks to the orcs orc and half orc among the party you know because they aren't exactly liked anywhere in particular um but you guys make it through safe enough and uh make it inside and um as it happens when you guys went inside um you see i mean you you can basically guess at this point he's got kind of an air of authority around him but you see a uh middle-aged uh a middle-aged human male in there talking to what looks to be maybe like a, a clerk or something at the desk in there and um uh he's got black hair but it's kind of like salt and pepper at this point he's he's middle-aged he's starting to gray a little bit um not particularly rough looking um but anyway you guys walk in and as you walk in uh he turns and sees you he says uh oh well you have to be the adventurers um there's nothing else you could be i guess because he he sees a weird a a, a, a motley crew of a, a turtle a gnome a couple of orcs like that's that's not a normal thing uh, so anyway, he, uh, he kind of waves you back. Come on, guys, come on. Uh, and heads you, or, uh, sends you back to his office with him. And, uh... So, uh, you guys are here to help us out with our, our problems, huh? What kind of problems are you having? Well, we've got the, the city of Anoa that has, um... It fell years ago, and the the elves and humans have decided to leave it as a, um, well, nobody's inhabiting the place. Uh, it's it's been part of the the truce between the humans and elves from the scattered war years years ago, um, and but because of that, it's become a safe haven for scumbags. Now these people have been flocking there, gaining power, and now they're targeting any travelers that might get too close to them. I, and it's been I hate getting scumbags. worse. Bags, they're the worst of the bags. I have a quick question. Um, yeah. What kind of scumbags are we talking about? Well, just the anybody worst. who doesn't want to who doesn't want to be seen in society. People they they've been murderers, thieves, anything you could think of, they've done it. They they yeah, go there. Okay. It's become it's become a safe haven for anybody who doesn't want to be around the law. Is it any sort of like certain group or a tribe or something? Like Not that? that we know of. We just know that they've been recently banding together, and instead of just trying to disappear and live out their lives there, they are now they have become a group. We don't know what what's happening over there. But we do know that something we need to deal with them quickly before they can rally more and become an actual problem to Amon and the Emerald Outpost. Hmm. So, what do we get for it? <laughs> well, 
Orville First of kind all, of uh, zoned out whenever he was talking about scumbags because he kind of resents that. <laughs> yeah. But then as soon as you guys are talking about it, like a reward, he kind of comes back. He's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I'm prepared to offer you some money, of course, and then um, I'm the governor of the Emerald Outpost. Uh, well, I guess one of two, if you count Theodwill. Um, but anyway, um, they're... they're for helping the city, you're going to gain so much renown, uh, and you can. It will be so much easier for you to find more more quests to go on, more more wealth to be found with your name out there. So, you, but I don't need the money. If if oh. we do this, I would like you to send the money to the Wild Mother's Respite. It's north of Iman. Great why? place to hang out for the young people. Can I ask why you're going to send it that way? Oh, well, you see, Sonny, I am a traveling salesman. Oh. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you sell? I immediately pull out from my back, <laughs> like, a small cask. Well, it's funny you should mention that. Yeah. My group of monks make mead. Oh. We do. My Would anyone one. like a sample? Yes. I mean, yeah. I, I take a little bit of the cask <laughs> into like a little like wooden cup and I hand it to them. And I'm like shaking as I'm handing it. Just like a little <laughs> bit. All right. Please be honest. I want to know if it's good. I take a sip. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm also selling individuals for five silver. It's a little, little yeah. pricey. Not for this quality, Sonny, let me tell you. What is the individual mm. packaging? Oh, it comes in these little, and I pull out like little tiny flagons, and that they're slightly chilled to the touch. <laughs> It comes in these little tiny flagons that one of the f more fancy magical monks made special. I don't know what he did, but it's great. They're always cold. And <laughs> reusable. So you're investing in a flagon, too. <laughs> I, mean, I have a one. We're going to be traveling a lot. Let's be back to it. So anyway, so send the thing to my place. It'll be great. Give us the hard silver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just setting something up real quick. Alright, um... How much exactly? Like, how much... How much money are we talking? We can you know? give you... 2,000 gold to split among your group. Ooh. Did you say 4,000? That's a lot of money. 2,000. Five? No, we we can only offer two thousand right now. Sure. But this isn't an option. I was just having fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, quite spry for an old man, aren't you? Well, you know what they say about turtles. No. What do they say? <laughs> oh, I thought you knew what they said about turtles. No. Um, well, I don't, you don't know. know? Not you're not. We don't see too many turtles around here. Oh, well, you do now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <Right. laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so are you him, folks up to the task? Yeah. I don't know about, yeah. I don't know about them, but I. I was going to say, I don't know about them, but you've got to deal with me. Okay. What about the, the Money rogues? for the monastery is good for me. Yeah. I'm good. Suppose I'm in. Hmm? Suppose I'm in, but are you sure we can't sweeten it a little more? Just a little more. Uh, we, we might be able to give you uh, give you some discounts to the shops around town. This is a trading post, after all. 
with me, young man. That's a good thing. I don't yeah. even give discounts. <laughs> All right. Well, man. I'm not sure about your business tactics, but I suppose to each their own. You don't compromise for your quality. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five silver since I was a hatchling, and it will stay five silver long after I'm dead. Okay. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, getting between the two places, um, I'm not too familiar with the distance. Jacob, how, how long do you think it would take? <laughs> oh, that would take like maybe two days. Yeah, I didn't if think it would take very track, long. Maybe less than that. Yeah, we'll just say uh, two days on horseback to get to the new city of Anoa, or so it's yeah, been we're... called. If so, if we're getting horses, I'm gonna need a big one. Because this shell's pretty heavy, and I knock on my shell, and it makes, like, a weird, <laughs> like, wood knocking noise. <laughs> well, depending oh, on where you all... I've recently, but I'm still kind of heavy, so... <laughs> well, depending on where that. you all have come from, uh, you may already have horses. Jacob oh. may not, because he's a turtle monk. A wandering <laughs> salesman. Yeah. I can't afford a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for five really? silver for a drink? No compromises? You have to put it back into your product, Sonny. <laughs> you can't okay. compromise quality. So, um, you guys have enough money on you to, to purchase a horse if you need to anyway. It's up to you guys if you just yeah. want to walk it or ride, whatever. Is it going to make a difference if we walk or ride? Um, I mean, it, it, it always will. I mean, it's going to, it, it would take at least three days to get there on foot. I mean, horses save you a lot of time. Uh -huh. Um, what and the things we involved there. Pro horse. Pro horse. Okay, let's get some horses. Yeah. Okay. Are we going horse <laughs> Um, now? what? Horse going shopping? Horse shopping. <laughs> If, uh... <laughs> Cover. Um, you guys go wait at the front. I'll bring the horses. Okay, well, um, if, if you want, the we've got a stable near the entrance to the gate. That way, people coming in and out can easily acquire horses. So... so... <laughs> <laughs> the best price is free, or five silver. Um... <laughs> Yeah, just speak to uh, speak to Marcus there. He'll help you out. Is that with a K or a C? A C, I think. All right. It's good to know how to spell people's names. Uh, yeah. Mm. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh well, consider consider it um, done. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I start hobbling to the stable. Okay. Are you guys going to let him start walking off alone? You I got some more it. questions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look at them and just be like, where the fuck did we find this guy? <laughs> <laughs> also, are you two related? <laughs> You're a whole, an orc and a half orc. It's a not cool question. Maybe <laughs> your dad. Thank you. Like, oh, no, no, about that. As I'm continuing to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take out one of my daggers and I kind of do a cute little knife flipping trick. And I mm -hmm. grab it and kind of point at her and just shake my head and then put it back. And then I'm going to use minor illusion to do the exact same thing. <laughs> 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 and just point it at him. Okay. And I turn around. I'm going to make it make those like fake like noises that you hear in um, like movies where they just make like knives make noises even though they don't in real life because I can <laughs> make both an image and a sound with my illusion. <laughs> All right. I'm walk away. Group is getting along nicely. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so uh, you guys make it back through town. Not again. It's it's not too big. You get back to uh, near the entrance, and you see <clears throat> the stables off to the side. Um, it's kind of tucked back a little bit away from the gate, um, but it's still just right there next to it. Um, but you can see the the sign outside that just says uh, Marcus Petro Stables. Is it with a C or a K? <laughs> it's with a C. Hey, All right. <laughs> I didn't know if he knew. Mm, I know. <laughs> Hello? Hi. I knock on one of the stable doors with my cane. Oh, yeah. What uh, What can I do for you? Hello, Marcus with a K. I need horses. <laughs> uh, how many are you looking for? Well, uh, I don't know. How many do we want? Four. Four? Four. All right. Yeah. Give me four horses and a cart for me, because I'm old and saddles hurt. A cart? A cart? You Do I need to speak <laughs> up? Maybe. I'm just confused why you would come here for a cart. Because I am old, and two of the horses... <laughs> can drag the cart. Alright, I'll see what I can do for you. Hooray! Uh, so, the the horses here are generally, they, they're just, they're all purpose. There's nothing super fancy about it. Um, people come and go through here all the time. Um, then, um, he was able to find a cart, but it's a little bit uh, worn so to speak. It's functional. It's just pretty beat up. It's uh, pretty much like you, you can tell it was used for not... Um... Oh. Are you trying to buy a, a cart? Are you talking about like a, like a wagon to operate behind the horse? No, like a, like a cart that you would put... Like, like a wagon in. that you're going to sit in. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought, but I had to double check. <laughs> now, here's a tip for you, youngins. If a card is that beat up, it means that it's reliable. Hmm. Seems solid, yeah. Well, I won't lie to you on that one. This is, uh, <laughs> this is one of our personal ones, but uh, we can give it to you for a little extra. That way we can afford to get another one. I make a little proposition to... for you. <clears throat> what might that be? Well, you see, I got this right here, and I pull out one of my casks. I have like five strung across my shell. I pull oh, out one. Of them. This is a magical mead. Well, we're not interested in magical mead around here. Oh, oh, I understand the apprehension. We're just interested in coin. But this will get you coins, Sonny. You drink this. I'm already doing to something to get me Go coins. Ahead. I'm already getting. So I'm already doing something to make me coin. I don't need another business to take care of. This is hectic enough. It yourself. How much for the cart and the horses? So, uh, we'll say it's like um, I don't know how much the horses usually run, Jacob. Like five gold. It a pop. depends on the town. Um, if they're well, just these, like these aren't super super fancy horses, this isn't the yeah. I mean, it's up to your discretion. The max I would probably say is five gold or six yeah. gold apiece. All right, yeah, we'll <laughs> call it uh, we'll, we'll just call it five gold per horse to be safe, and then another uh, gold for the cart. Okay, is there a horse that is, that is all black with a white mane? Uh, Ooh. roll a perception check. First roll of the day. Or are you asking him? Uh, are you asking the stable master, or are you Zach asking me? No, I'm Marcus Zach the asking you. I'm looking around. Okay, okay, yeah, roll a perception check. Natural 20. Oh, well. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, starting out strong. <laughs> yeah, get that good roll out of the way so you can die later. Down. 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, with uh, you, you managed to find one. It's it's tucked back in the corner because it is a uh, it's a nicer nicer breed of horse. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's I mean you can just kind of pick what you want. Um, five gold, same thing. I just like that one. Okay, so it, you said black with like a white mane. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, what what is what is this one's name? Uh, we don't name them. We're selling them to to you all. You get to name them. Okay. I walk over to the horse. Name start petting it. Is Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> he may yes. not be the prettiest, but he's definitely something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, are you guys ready to set off? Yeah. All right, so... What's that? Oh, I'm going to hop up onto my horse and head it and be like, your name's Goose now. <laughs> and then I'm going to start going. I'm going to start, like, braiding its mane. <laughs> well, it's going to be a little yeah, difficult yeah. while you're riding it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. I use mane pan to braid its mane. <laughs> All right. Um, so now it's uh, kind of midday after traveling through the city a couple of times and between your uh, conversation with the uh, the folk around there. Excuse me. Um, check this. Wrong one. Okay. So uh, I'm going to get in the cart. I'm in a cart. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take like a nap. Wake me up if there's problems. And then my head, my arms, and my legs go into my shell, and it's just my shell sitting in the cart. So nobody's what operating. All the need? No, I figured that one of you was riding on the cart because it takes two horses. Does it? It does. I guess well, goes with drive. That's up to them. I'm riding by myself. I'm not carrying. I'm not dragging a cart. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so, young kid, <laughs> in case, I'm gonna pop out of the show. You know, oh, no, go go riding, just been like young kids these days have no respect for their elders. I can't. <laughs> Just go, go, leave, go, go leave the cart there. Meat. Yeah. Here, keep the gold. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a compromise to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... So is... Gorgog operating the... Cart now? Apparently. Did I say that right? <laughs> All right, someone's driving the cart now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then I'm going to get in the cart and take a nap. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's going to cost so... you, though. He wants some meat for it. For it. It's paid for. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully antsy for someone who just wants a nap. I take naps very seriously. <laughs> Cranky. Yeah. All right. So uh, you guys start making your way west towards Onoa. Uh, 